Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel. So in today's tennis guys tennis racket comparison please welcome in the left corner the heavyweight champion at Extreme Tour 2022 Auxetic and on the right side another heavyweight champion from Yonex the new E zone 98 2022. So, guys, check out the full tennis racket comparison right now. Let's get ready to rumble. So, here we go. So, the extreme tour versus the E zone 98. So, both rackets 98 inch head size. So 630 square centimeters for the Extreme Tour and 632 square centimeters for the E-Zone 98. So the E-Zone has a slightly, but just slightly bigger head. But you won't notice that for sure because 2 square centimeters, well, does it really matter? probably not so much and when we jump to the unstrung weight so both of these heavyweight champions they weigh 305 grams so there is nothing really to compare both have the same amount of muscle or fat well in this case probably muscle because these are both of these rackets are, let's say, tournament rackets or the rackets for advanced players and the ambition of juniors, maybe. Yes, for sure. And when we jump to the balance, obviously, unstrung balance, both of these rackets have a great hand heavy balance, so 315 millimeters. So the maneuverability, guys, will be awesome with both of these sticks. And finally, the swing weight. That is something I'm really looking forward to compare. Because when we look at the tennis warehouse numbers, there is really nothing to compare. Because the Extreme Tour has the swing weight of 317. And the ESO 98 has swing weight of 318 so just one swing weight point difference will you notice that probably not but the first number on the extreme tour says 323 so that is my number what i did measure when i did my quality control test for this stick but remember guys i measured it with the Technifiber black coat 1.28 millimeters and usually Tennis Warehouse does the same but with a 1.25 string so slightly lighter strings so can this be the difference at the end maybe maybe who knows so now the stiffness there is also a slight difference so the Extreme Tour is a little bit more flexible. What does it mean? More flexible, more feel, more control probably. But when we jump to the ESO 98, it's 65 RA. So two RA points stiffer. What does it mean? So more power, more stability. Well, if you are the power guy who needs that extra power, you will probably choose the ESO 98 compared to the Extreme 2 which has more feel into it. So now the string pattern is the same guys, 16 by 19. You can't expect anything but great spin potential, great big comfortable sweet spot and I would say lots of power from both of these rackets. Composition, well 100% Graphite. So when we talk about composition, and when we talk about these rackets in general, in this category, they are always made of 100% graphite. There is nothing really special 
about it. But what is special about all of these rackets are the technology. So let's dive into that because the technologies can make the biggest difference actually. Because when we look at the specs, they are almost the same. But I jumped, I skipped one, one important, one important spec, one important specification. Guys, you for sure notice that. And that's the beam width. Beam width. So how thick are the beams for, 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 for both of these rackets? So when we look at the extreme tour, it's only 22 millimeters at the top of the head. It is 23 millimeters at the side of the head. Let's say at the three o'clock and nine o'clock and just 21 millimeters at the throat section. So the extreme tour is pretty darn maneuverable. Yeah, the maneuverability is awesome with the extreme tour is one of the easiest playing 98 square inch rackets on the market so guys if you want a quick 98 inch racket don't hesitate any minute there are no more not more better options on the market right now but when we look at the e-zone it's quite obvious what does that mean so the top of the head at the 12 o'clock it's 23.5 millimeters so that's the whole 1.5 millimeters thicker and yeah that will translate into more power more easy power maybe even into more let's say plow through at the end of the day so if you need that grab the e-zone so the middle section of the head 24.5 that's one more time, one, one and a half millimeters thicker compared to the Extreme Tour. What does it mean? Once again, more, even more power, even more stability. So if you need a racket that is really stable, that will help you even in the defensive positions, when you play a defensive shot, well, the E-Zone is probably a better option. And when we look at the throat section, it's only 19.5, so the flex will be great. And the aerodynamics are also awesome for this racket. So it's kind of a mixture of uh, brute power and a great maneuverability. But at the end, the Extreme Tour has a little bit more feel into that and maybe a little bit more, I would say, a direct, direct impact and the energy transfer will be maybe faster for the Extreme Tour. So now the technology is finally, finally, that is something I'm really enjoying the most when I'm looking into the rackets because specs are specs, but the technologies, they can change the game for us. So. I will start with the Extreme Tour. There is the Auxetic, a phenomenal technology from head that in my, uh, in my point of view, it really changes. It really changes how you will feel and how you will play with the racket. So the Auxetic is inserted only in this small part on the lower section of the head. So where the main strings connect, so only like these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grommets are inserted in the spot where this auxetic technology works. And what does it mean? More power, bigger sweet spot. It flexes a little bit inside of the racket. So when you hit the ball, the strings flex and they push the lower part of the head inside of the head. So there is this trampoline effect and it will help the strings to move more, they will create more spin, uh, spin effect, etc, etc. Bigger sweet spot, a really nice plush feel. So that's the biggest difference compared to the previous generation with the 360 plus technology, which was really good, but at some point it felt like the racket is kind of hollow, but the Auxetic will connect you with the ball a little bit more and for a little bit longer period of time. So the dwell 
time for the ball dwelling on the strings will be a little bit longer so next the graphene inside what can i say the graphene inside well it's the graphene it's the graphite so nothing really special about that and then there are the spin 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 things spin grommets for more well guess what spin grommets for more what do you think well spin yeah good job so the spin grommets are inserted in the head at the 12 o'clock and on the sides at the three o'clock and nine o'clock so on on the top of the head these are the big round grommets so you can literally put there like two maybe even three strings into those grommets they are really big and on the sides there are not round grommets there are rectangular grommets or rectangular i'm not sure how it is called so the shape is like this guys look at me i'm showing you the shape of the grommets on the side it looks like this so it's not oval it's like this what does it mean so the strings can move more even more sideways so but they don't move in the vertical position that much so they stay in control of the horizontal move so this creates once again more power more spin more snap back and more snap back means more spin now the spin pattern once again it is connected with the strings so the pattern is 16 by 19 but the space between the strings is now a little bit let's say bigger so bigger space between the strings means it will bite more into the ball so that will create more spin and also a bigger sweet spot now the spin shaft so the spin shaft has a let's say special shape in this part to make the racket here a little bit more stable and once again stability creates power and power creates spin that is all focused on the spin 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 that's why it is called spin shaft and the last but not least sound grommets well this might sound like a gimmick but to be honest the sound from the extreme racket or from all of the head rackets is really good it's like a wooden wooden racket when you hit with the ball then then you have the massive wooden sound it's not that wooden like with the previous generations with the 360 and 360 plus technology but now it is a little bit more muted but still a very nice sound a pop you really know when you hit the ball correctly inside of the sweet spot and that's it so let's jump into the ESO 98 technology because there are one two three four five six seven seven technologies compared to the six of the head so yeah isometric the legendary head shape from the Yonex racket that has been here for over 30 years and this head shape cannot be copied no one can mimic or let's see yeah they can mimic the head shape but they don't they can't make the head shape the same as yonex because it's patented so yonex will be dominant in the head shape in the isometric head shape for the end of the world guys end of the world so long live the yonex isometric so now the 2g and amd speed what does it mean so the 2g and amd speed it's the it's a graphite is the graphite technology or graphene technology that is inserted also in the throat section and it makes the racket uh, snap a little bit more flex and create more feel and more ball speed that's it it's simple as that now the arrow shape design so the frame is thinner when you turn the racket like you see it on the picture and you measure the thickness of the frame so you grab your fingers like that and you and you touch the frame there you will see that the frame is a little bit thinner 
That's why it is called an iron shaped design, because it will eventually plow through the air a little bit better. So when you swing with the racket, there will be a uh, less, mm, yeah, you will you will definitely feel less of the of the air coming to the frames and and stopping you from swinging the racket. So that's it. And the shaft design. So the shaft design is in the lower part of the shaft. So in this section and there it is a little bit more stiffer and stable. So it stabilizes the shots. It creates more power. So it is quite similar in the functionality as the extreme tour. And I need to say it looks really good, really unique for Yonex. No, no other records have actually this this type or this shape uh, of the shaft that is very, I would say, modern, modern and looks kind of futuristic. Now the liner tech. So the liner tech is how the grommets, how the holes for the grommets are drilled. In this case, they are drilled in a direct position. So they elongate the strings and the strings when they are elongated, let's say they are longer than usual, so it creates once again a softer string bed, better, a bigger sweet spot, more energy because there is more string actually in the racket, let's say compared to other rackets without this technology. So this can be maybe just one, two, three centimeters more of the strings on the overall head. But at the end of the day, it can mean something like one, two, three percent more of power. Well, yeah, it can help you. Now the OPS, the OPS is one of the oldest or maybe the oldest technology for the Yonex. It is same old as the isometric, maybe. So it has been there from 1969, I believe, with the T7000 racket from Yonex. And it is how the racket is made, how the how the shaft is made. The OPS means oval pressed shaft. So the shaft is pressed into an oval shape and the shape helps the racket bend a little bit more. So in the shaft section, let's say here, there is the head and there is the shaft. So it flexes more so it can create more power longer dwell time from the of the ball on the strings and this can lead into better also better control of the ball and last but not least the vdm the vibrate vibrate vibration dampening mesh so it's a type of mesh that is inserted in the handle it is inside the handle and it helps to filtrate the unwanted vibrations but still it preserves the good vibration let's say that you need and that you want from a tennis racket to have a great feel <sighs> guys that was exhausting i need to drink something that's tea <clears throat> i have a dry throat <clears> sorry mm. so what's my conclusion so when i compare these two rackets they are kind of similar in the specs but what i believe and guys i need to notice that i did not play with the newest iso 98 i played with the previous generation of the 98 but i believe they are quite similar let's say or the dna is still there and i played quite a lot with the extreme tour with the auxetic and i can compare it in this sense so for me, for my taste, extreme tour means crisper feel, uh, more control, uh, I would say more, more raw spin, and maybe more play, uh, playful playability, like, like you kind of can make... Uh, more t more adjustments to your strokes you can be really creative when playing with the racket i believe it th th this this racket can be also more 
uh, faster during the swing and great on volleys, great for touch things, touch volleys, drop shots and this, this type of play. On the other hand, the E-Zone feels like a more, in general, more powerful racket for the brute power, for the raw power, for someone who is maybe a baseliner, a real baseliner, who doesn't really want to uh, come too close to the net, but most of the points you want to win with the, with the shots, with the ground strokes, with a massive, a really powerful ground stroke with easy power. So, and, and the racket will be probably more stable for that. So it will help you also in the defense section. So I would say like this, so the extreme tour, if you are a creative attacker, go for the extreme tour. If you are the, the pure baseliner, the powerful baseliner, go for the ISO 98. And last but not least, uh, for doubles, if you are a doubles player, I would choose the Extreme Tour because I believe uh, for doubles, it, the record it will be a little bit more, let's say, direct, quicker, crisper, better for the touch and feel, as I said before. So guys, there you have it. Great, great comparison. Two heavyweight champions in the 98-inch head size section. And guys, if you like that comparison, please click this share comment and you can support my channel by you know buying me a coffee clicking the super thanks or buying some merchandise from my store and for now that is all check out my other tennis rackets comparison and there will be more of them in the future for sure so guys thank you for watching enjoy tennis play tennis every time every day and don't forget to enjoy the maneuver bit. bye guys you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! That ball was on the line!